comedian coming to the stage, very funny woman, give it up for Deborah Tammer. So I'm English. <laughs> and I love living in New York. I mean, you've got, yes, you've got things here which we just, we don't have in England. For example, the other day I was trying a dress on and uh, when I came out of the dressing room, another customer came up to me and said, It doesn't suit you! <laughs> we don't have them. <laughs> I, uh, I got in a yellow cab the other day, and uh, the driver heard my voice, and he said, uh, where are you from? Are you British? I'm like, oh, yes, yes, I, I am, I am I'm, I'm, I'm British. He's like, you destroyed my country! <laughs> oh, sorry, um, what, what country is, is that? Palestine! Wait till he finds out I'm a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> He then goes on to tell me how the Brits screwed up his country, his name's Mohammed, we have a nice conversation, and then he says, but you know who are the worst? I'm thinking, oh shit, um, the worst are the Jews. <laughs> I am never gonna make my facial. <laughs> anyway, uh, we keep talking and he says, uh, what is your name? Deborah. And he said, oh, that is a, that's a nice name. And now I'm feeling quite encouraged, so I decide for some reason to say, well, actually, my full name is Devorah Yetta, which is both Hebrew and Yiddish. Let's just keep the Deborah, please. <laughs> anyway, um, my mother, she still lives in England, uh, which means we have a very strong texting relationship. But she hasn't quite got the hang of it yet. Uh, the whole brevity thing seems to be amazing. I'll just share with you some of the things I have to go through. Just get it up. Right, for example, I text, no reason for alarm, Mum, but Alice, that's my youngest, fell and broke her wrist. She's fine and on the mend. She replies, I'm so grateful for your advice not to be alarmed. <laughs> when it comes to the health and well-being of Alice, even the slightest setback would be alarming to me. <laughs> and it's not just Alice I worry about. I harbour anxiety about all my grandchildren. How did Alice fall and break her wrist in the first place? Don't tell me you ignored my advice and got her a skateboard for her birthday. This news has reminded me of when Ruby fell off her pogo stick. I told your father at the time that the pogo stick was a bad idea. You know, Auntie Mavis used to be a radiologist and was wondering what bone Alice broke. Was it the scaphoid or was it the distal radius? I only ask because Mavis says that if it's in fact the scaphoid, then it takes significantly longer to heal. I'm not surprised that Alice is fine. From the moment she was born, I felt that she was an excessively positive child. So glad she's on the road to recovery. On to another subject. <laughs> In your last text to me, you wrote, we're going out for t dinner tonight, love Deborah. I couldn't help but notice that there was no period after the word dinner. <laughs> I've noticed this is, this is the case in your texts more often than not. I only mention this because I know you share my great respect for proper punctuation. All my love, Mum. I wrote back, thanks. Period. I uh, decided to take my three daughters to see the musical Six the other day. It's okay, thank you. Can I have a good mum? And it's about the uh, Henry VIII, <laughs> Henry VIII and his six wives. I thought, oh, this will be educational. And it was, but not in the way that I thought it would be. <laughs> Anne Boleyn comes on stage and says, I love my head, but I gave good head. <laughs> And my little Alice said, Mummy, what does that mean? And 
and like, oh, it, it's an old-fashioned way of giving a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Next day, in the playground, full view of everyone, she goes, Bye, Mummy! I love you! <laughs> Thanks, you've been great. Thanks for listening. Alright, here we go, Deborah Tammer. And next week, we're going